What's going on everybody? Eddie here and today we're gonna go wash the mini donut machine. It's right sitting right there in the back. Got a couple things over here and let's get going. Alright guys we made it. It's freaking dark out here. Let's see if I've got the right keys to open up this door. Good lord, good lord. Oh nice. I brought the right one. Coming into damn Daniel's garage again. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Got our kitchen and everything. And right here's where we're gonna set the donut machine. All right, let's go get that thing, cause God, let's go. You see that right there, boys? It's a fucking Burrari, yo. Burrari. Wanna buy it? It's my number. <laughs> okay, so I've unloaded it, and it's right here. Check it out. You know, there's the headpiece. Right there. It's a pretty small machine. Sorry if it's like really blurry. I don't know how to get this camera to focus that well. It's pretty old. There's a turner that moves the oil. And this is the hopper, or the mechanism to move the hopper anyways. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna clean this thing up. Get these cables off of there. Because next weekend, I believe, is when we have our it Ooh, sorry about that. But yeah, check that out. We're gonna clean up all that gunk. That nasty, nasty stuff. Did a quick little cleanup on it earlier. Or when I finished with it anyways. But now we're gonna give it a, oh, come on focus, a thorough clean. Get everything off of that. Get everything off of there. Uh, will it focus? Probably not. Yeah, let me set this thing up and show you guys what it looks like. Cool, so this is basically what it would look like. You have your hopper sitting on the stand up there. Everything would be hooked up. This one, this little motor moves all the oil forward. This one here just flips it up, goes whoop, whoop, and all these things, you know, move up as well. A little uh, catcher for any little bits of donuts that, you know, don't go through. Come in through here and get caught. Down underneath, I think I have the little motor or the little uh, rowing thing. Um, but yeah, really quick, all the way around. Pretty cool little device. Um, yeah, let's get cleaning. <laughs> so all I'm really doing, guys, is just basically with my steel wool, I'm just, you know, going to be scrubbing, scrubbing all the way across to get all the, you know, oil that got stuck on there from the first cleanup off of the machine that way you know it's clean and the health department doesn't say anything because of all the extra grease on there and we're just gonna you know go through it quick and easy you know it does get time consuming um, and that's pretty much all I'll really be doing for this video is just you know cleaning down my machine maybe I'll talk about some other stuff um, but if you guys have questions definitely leave me a comment down below I can answer it if I haven't you know gone through it that well and I mean yeah go all the way through get these little points on here make sure those get nice and cleaned up and squeaky clean <laughs> um, let's see here come on some of these are a pain in the butt but basically all I'm using is just steel wool soapy water and a rag you know as well as uh, a little knife well I have no idea where I put it. I'll probably find it, but just to scrape off, scrape off any excess, you know, stuff that doesn't want to come off. I'll just be using a little knife to, you know, cut right through it. And then here's the underside of it. And man, there's always those hard spots to clean. And that's when you pull out your knife and you're just like, boom, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, it is scratching up the thing, but I'm just cleaning it up too, because these are like really hard to, get through. Just clean it up, clean, 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 as best you can before you hit it with the, uh, with the steel wool. Goodness, look at all that crap. Just clean most of it off, get all the hard parts out, as best you can. And it's slowly going. This is probably the most tedious part, I guess you could say, of, you know, having your own little mini donut business or whatever, just having to do the cleanup on it. But, 
Then again, if you don't, you don't make money because the health department will shut you down. You just gotta get it done. You just gotta get it done. Uh, oh yeah, and here's the inside of it. You guys can see that. That long old coil is what heats up the oil for me. Of course, the top of it has a gauge and everything to uh, keep the temperature where it needs to be. Yeah. All right, starting to look better. We got this cleaned up pretty well. This side's got a couple spots that we're gonna hit again. There's still that little inside spot. And of course, there's all of this in here that we're gonna hit. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and finish up with the machine over there and get the little small pieces that are on there. Ah, it was time consuming. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're almost done. We just gotta finish up with this piece here. The little rotor thing that pushes the oil. That one over there is drying. Then it's the big old box that's gonna be right here. These two over here are drying. That one's over there is drying. We're almost done, almost done. All right, let's continue here with this one. Oh. All right, you guys, so it's been about two hours and I'm finally done. Everything is just drying over there. Um, these are probably already dry. That one over there is dry. Um, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> um, sorry that the clips were pretty short on you know all the scrubbing I did. It's mainly a lot of scrubbing with the, what's it called? The, uh, shoot, the steel wool. Uh, it's a lot of scrubbing with that. I'm probably going to buy a wire brush and see how I do with with that on the whole cleaning process. And maybe if I can find, you know, a better cleaning chemical instead of just soapy water. Because it's a lot of elbow grease that you got to use <laughs> to get it all cleaned up. But, let's see. Oh, that's right. So next week, we're going to be going for a supply run, picking up some burgers and hot dogs and getting the machine all up and ready um, because we're gonna have you know the car auction here soon and I think that'll be some fun uh, definitely stay tuned for it guys if you have any questions definitely leave me a comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later